Thank you so much for tuning into your favorite channel. Of course, this is CC Vlog and Reviews. And today, I am really excited because uh, I am looking forward to be uh, comparing these two amazing phones for you guys. But before we begin, I would like to thank everyone for those who have subscribed to my channel. So we are already at 500 subscribers. Thank you so much, guys. And you, if you haven't subscribed, please Click the subscribe and the like button below, guys. I really appreciate that. So what are the phones that I'll be reviewing for you guys? So as you can see, we have here the boxes. So we have here the Realme GT Neo and, of course, the Poco X3 Pro. So why am I uh, comparing these two items for you guys? I know uh, you are aware that these two phones have different uh, are, are from different price range. So it's like around 80 dollar difference between these two phones but of course there are reasons why we can definitely compare these two so we will be going to that and of course at the end of this video guys we will be giving you an idea on what phone is really of the best value so let's start So here you go guys, we have here these two amazing phones as I've said. The Realme GT Neo and of course the Poco X3 Pro. There. So we will be going through different categories. Uh, I'll be starting with uh, of course their design, so externally. I have mentioned before that I really love the color of these two. It never changed, okay? Uh, all throughout the usage or my time in using both of these phones, I still like their design. So in terms of its overall design, guys, for me, Realme GT Neo looks more classy compared to Poco X3. There you go. It looks more premium in the hand. And uh, I also like its camera here on the side because when you are going to use it, see, for example, you'll be watching movies. It will not block your way. So there. Also, the camera, if you compare both of these, the camera of Poco X3 is more protruding compared to the Realme GT Neo. So in terms of fingerprint, guys, I like Poco X3 more. So I have mentioned this before, again, from Poco X3 until Poco X3 Pro, I love the placing of the fingerprint sensor. So it's very easy to reach. There, as you can see, it is uh, on the right side and it also serves as your power button. And I really like the placing in here. And uh, comparing it to Realme GT Neo, the fingerprint sensor is on its screen so you know even though okay in terms of its response time both of them are really like quick super fast uh, it really res uh, both of them responds very quick for me it's just the placing of the fingerprint sensor uh, that i like boco x3 pro more so the other pluses that i have noticed in boco x3 pro compared to gt neo is that it is splash proof it's also dust proof and aside from that it has gorilla glass 6 protection for its screen and also guys the memory even if it's already 128 gigabytes of internal memory it is still expandable which we cannot find here in our realme gt neo because it's not expandable so we have here 128 gigs of internal memory so you're just really stuck with that internal memory of 128 gig it also did not indicate that it is splash proof and also for the screen we know that it is glass but we cannot find any information on what really is the type of uh, glass that they used uh, for its screen in terms of the feel guys realme gt neo is lighter because the weight is just 180 grams if you are, say for example, going to watch for a long time and then you're going to hold your phone or you're going to, uh, to scan through social media for quite some time, uh, you will not get tired. You know, it's very light. It's quite smaller than a Poco X3 and also slimmer. Well, for the Poco X3, it's 218 grams, guys. And it's quite heavier 
and it's more bulky than uh, Realme GT Neo. So as you can see, if you will be watching for a long time, you will really feel the weight that it has. But what I like about Poco X3 Pro is it feels better in the hand when you are playing. I can really, you know, the for me the grip is much better compared to the Realme GT Neo, which is slimmer. So when I am, you know, playing the mobile games, I really enjoy the overall feel of Poco X3 Pro. It feels more solid in the hand. So for the screen, guys, as I also mentioned earlier, a Poco X3 Pro has a larger screen. It is 6.67 inches. And well, for Realme GT Neo, it's just 6.43 inches. So for viewing guys, it seems like Pogo X3 Pro has more advantage guys because of its larger screen. So both of these guys have a 120Hz refresh rate which is really good because you know, I am really having a great time sc uh, scrolling through social media and uh, my eyes are not uh, even confused. No matter how fast I scroll through the page, it actually is a great experience. Very smooth for both of them. The fluidity is really, really there. So let's move on now, guys, to the next category, which is the video. So watching video via YouTube and Netflix. So I have mentioned this on my videos for Poco X3. I like that they have a wide vine L1 certification, meaning I can really play or watch videos on high definition in Netflix. While, on the other hand, for uh, Realme GT Neo, which I am still hoping that they will have in the future, they only have Widevine L3 certification. So it's still standard definition up until now. But in terms of watching high definition videos in YouTube, guys, it's really amazing because of its AMOLED display. You can really feel it there. You can really see it there. And you can really uh, get the experience, the great experience because of its AMOLED display. You will really see the contrast of the picture compared to Poco X3 when you are watching YouTube. I really have a better experience in watching in Realme GT Neo when I'm using it in YouTube. In terms of sound, guys, well, both of them, actually, they have dual speakers, but Realme GT Neo has Dolby speakers. So, you know, when I am trying to, uh, when I am watching movies or videos, um, I can really say that I have a, a great experience using both of them. This, there is really this surround sound that you can really hear, but... The sound of Realme GT Neo is more crisp, more clear. It has better sound and deeper bass. So that's what I noticed when I am watching videos using Realme GT Neo uh, compared to Poco X3 Pro. Uh, but don't get me wrong guys, Poco X3 Pro really goes loud as well. And the sound quality is still good for its price. So now guys, let's go to the gaming performance of these phones. So I just want to start that uh, with their processor so realme gt neo runs in uh, dimensity 1200 while uh, poco x3 pro runs in uh, qualcomm snapdragon 860. for a to do score guys it is actually quite far uh the difference between them we were able to capture six thousand uh, at six hundred and ninety three thousand for realme gt neo on the other hand for poco x3 pro we were able to get 437,000 only. But, okay, I just want to say but there, guys, because it is still high <laughs> compared to some other phones in the market. There really is you know, this performance that you will be expecting from these two phones. Actually, guys, I was really surprised because in terms of gaming, I never had any issue with frame drops and lags. That's what I can really say for both of these phones. The gaming experience is really fantastic. You know, it's actually beyond expectation for these two phones. They are really amazing. And I cannot really fault 
these two phones in terms of gaming. No matter what games I was, uh, I played, you know, uh, Mobile Legends, uh, Call of Duty, Genshin Impact, Asphalt 9, you know, they are really capable, guys. They didn't even break a sweat. It is definitely a two thumbs up for these two amazing phones. But I just want to add here, guys, uh, both of these phones, they have cooling technology, okay? It's just that I am thinking that because of uh, um, because of their difference in their processor, there uh, comes the difference in the temperature as well and how, how the phone really uh, handles the heat. Though it's just three degrees difference between the two, so there really is a difference. Uh, there is still a difference between them. So while playing Genshin Impact, this is a really graphic rich game. So I know you guys are really aware of that. The maximum temperature that we were able to capture in Realme GT Neo is around 48 degrees Celsius. While for Poco X3 Pro, it's around 45 degrees Celsius. So I think guys, in terms of gaming, they are still tied in my heart and in my observation. So that's actually my experience and my feedback for these two phones. For me, it's just a little more fun using uh, Realme GT Neo in, uh, in terms of playing games uh, because of the crisper color that it was able to give me compared to the Poco X3. And that is, of course, because of its AMOLED display. And now, guys, let's move on to their camera performance. So for their main camera, guys, Realme GT Neo has 64 megapixels and it uses Sony IMX682. While for Poco X3 Pro, it only has uh, 48 megapixels for its main camera and it uses Sony IMX but it is on a lower version of 582. Let me show you some sample pictures and videos that we were able to capture using these focal phones. There you go guys. So as you have noticed, the photos and videos that we were able to capture using Poco X3 Pro are very natural. So it, it's really going to the natural side. So what you are actually seeing is what you will also see when you take the photos and videos. On the other hand, the Realme GT Neo's uh, photos and videos comes out a bit unnatural and that is because it is automatically enhancing the photos and video quality. The photos and videos are more vibrant in color. But actually, I don't have any, any issue with them um, giving me those, you know, those quality of photos and videos because they're actually great. So in terms of uh, being able to post it, on my social media you can definitely do it right away right after you take those photos and videos guys you will not be having any issue at all so i can really say that both of them really has good cameras now guys let's move on to their battery uh pogo x3 has larger battery capacity so it's five uh, 5160 mah on the other hand, Realme GT Neo only has 4,500mAh. So the included charger, when you buy these phones for Poco X3, it's uh, 33 watts, while for Realme GT Neo, it's 50 watts. And uh, I charge both of them and uh, zero up until 100% for Poco X3, you will reach around an hour. While for Realme GT Neo, you know, you will really feel how fast the charger is. Um, it can charge your phone from 0 to 100 in less than an hour. So around 50 minutes, you know, 45 to 50 minutes, your phone is already fully charged. In terms of moderate usage, guys, I'm talking about, you know, scrolling through social media and light gaming. The batteries can actually last you the entire day without the need to charge them. 
So now, guys, let's move on to our final verdict. What is really our final verdict, guys? What really is the phone that gives you the best value for your money? Well, of course, you know, it's gonna be Poco X3 Pro. So, for me, Poco X3 Pro gives me the real value for my money. In terms of its overall performance, uh, it is quite hard to beat. Um... Because of their price difference, guys, and comparing it to versus their performance, I'm really going to recommend Poco X3 Pro versus the Realme GT Neo. In terms of, you know, how it looks like, um, the gaming, <laughs> the camera, the overall performance, guys, um, I am really happy with Poco X3 Pro. Actually, for both of them. But, you know, we are talking about the value for your money. For the price segment, guys, for me, Poco X3 Pro is really hard to beat. The only advantage of uh, Realme GT Neo is, of course, its AMOLED display. But, given the performance, overall performance that Poco X3, gave, uh, Poco X3 Pro gave us, you know, it is really a good phone. It's actually a very good phone. So, for value for money, it's definitely a Poco X3 Pro that wins this comparison. So, guys, I hope that you like this video. If you have some questions, guys, please leave a comment below and we will be answering that for you. And if you like my video, please, again, don't forget to hit the like and the subscribe button below. And I will see you again soon. Bye!